typically this can be due to not addressing the underlying causes adequately or providing the wrong surgery or treatment option. It typically comes back more frequently in uh, more con conservative management versus surgery. Sometimes after surgery, scar tissue or improper healing can also contribute to some of the symptoms coming back. And non-compliance with recovery and rehabilitation also contribute to some of the symptoms coming back. Therefore, it's crucial to have the proper diagnosis and adhere to the post-operative plan. So recovery varies based on the treatment that was used for the thoracic outlet syndrome. If the treatment is less invasive with injections or medications, usually people recover within weeks to months. If the treatment is more surgical based, we usually ask patient not to have any heavy lifting for four weeks and ask them to do light activities after surgery up to two weeks. So possible side effect of treatment can vary based on the treatment employed and the underlying cause or applying the wrong treatment or less effective treatment for an individual. Also, complication related to nerve injuries and scar formation, vascular complications in case of vascular TOS, improper rehabilitation due to noncompliance and not sticking to the multidisciplinary approach plan. Some of the valuable resources are uh, Thoracic Outlet Syndrome Society, online communities, educational websites such as Mayo Clinic website. Local therapist, physical therapist who has experience with TOS can be also a valuable resource. Rehabilitation centers who are qualified to address chronic pain management also can be part of the available resources. We offer at Mayo Clinic Florida second opinion for a comprehensive overlook when specialists ask us to provide our opinion in complicated cases.